Hey everybody, it's the Everyday Dad. Thanks for joining me for Reviewing the Cheapest. Because there's an awful lot of technology out there, and it's getting cheaper all the time, let's see if we can't find some great tech. If you're new to the channel, if you're new to reviewing the cheapest, basically what we do is we go out, we find the cheapest tech, we see if it's any good, because there is really good cheap tech out there. Uh, it's going to be a little different this week. Normally the review is broken into five parts. Unboxing, review, comparison to my current tech, should you keep it, and will I buy it? I don't have anything like this currently, so there's not going to be anything to compare it to, so we're going to kick that part out. So I'm getting ready, to, I'm filming this right before I'm doing the makeup for the live stream. The live stream kind of fell apart. Uh, last week. We're gonna do it again. I'm trying to get some of this filming in beforehand So I can't check some of the settings of my cameras right now because I got to get the phone charged up as much as I can A little different than normal. I'm excited though. This should be a lot of fun. So what we're gonna review today is it is a compact projector. I have always wanted a projector. I've never really gotten one because they're always so expensive. Uh, so I was checking out BH Photo when I was getting the drone and I saw that they had this projector. It had some pretty good reviews. It says it does 1080p, SD cards, USB. I am, I'm pretty excited to check this out because I, I'm trying not to prejudge the conclusion. If this is any good, this is 100% going with me. So we, we like to go camping. We have a camper uh, and yeah, I get the majority of the reason why you go camping is to enjoy the outdoors. That's why we have a small camper but when you're trying to get a four well he's five now when you're trying to get a five-year-old ready for bed having the ability to watch some TV really helps and the camper just came with this tiny little TV it kind of sucks so if this works out this is going straight from the office to the camper I am incredibly excited about this thing so let's get started okay like I said a little different today I don't have the uh, my secondary camera so we're gonna we're gonna change it up try to get some secondary camera shots with the one camera, but they won't be secondary shots. They'll be the primary. They'll be the primary shots. Whatever. So, let's unbox it. I just had my scissors. I promise this is not something I'm trying to do. I seriously just had my scissors. Scissors. I'm going to glue these to me. Here, I'll let you guys see the tech specs because I'm not. Tech specs are boring to me. I'm not as concerned with the tech specs. All I care is that the image looks good and that it's portable and that it's easy to use. That is all that I care about. Don't wanna cut myself with those scissors. Pop it out. Nothing, puts everything in the box. Nice foam. What do we got here? It comes with a remote. I guess it did have that on the box, but I didn't, I need to start paying attention more. Okay, remote. Doesn't feel like there's any batteries in there. I just cannot win with reviewing the cheapest. What What is going on that every single cheap piece of tech I get needs some kind of random batteries? What? The next one, I promise, will not need batteries. I hope this should not be a big major part of the function of this. It should have buttons on it. It looks like it has buttons on it from the box, but batteries. Okay, we got the wall plug. So the everyday wife is a dental hygienist. Let's keep that between us that I just used my teeth to open that. She would be angry. AC adapter, audio visual cables, and, oh, books. I don't read those. If I can't figure it out, we don't need to use it. If it if it's so complicated that I can't figure it out by intuition, probably probably not worth playing with. Not not uh, not here. Not on the Everyday Dad. Maybe somebody else's channel needs books. Not here. We're stubborn. I'm stubborn at least. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> I swear, there's two correlations on reviewing the cheapest. There's me never having batteries and VGA. Can, can you see, does it say right there? I, it never fails. Every reviewing the cheapest, I've missed the batteries and there's VGA involved. I, I love it. I, I love, this is my favorite thing I've ever done on this channel besides flying the spark. Flying the spark and reviewing the cheapest I love it. it. These little, these little uh, idiosyncrasies about cheap tech, just always having batteries and always having VGA. Okay, so it's got an SD card in, 
USB in, HDMI out, VGA cable, power, and headphones. Well, that's nice of them to give headphones so you can have your projector but not share. Or speakers. I guess you could do. I guess you could do speakers. Oh, it also looks like it has a uh, a tripod screw in the bottom so you can keep it up high. We got some buttons, power, some other buttons that we'll figure out how they work here in a second. We got the lens with a cover. So we got it unboxed. Again, I am cautiously optimistic about this thing. It's so tiny and compact, but I really want to see how good it works. I do have some blank, like white-ish wall space here. We're going to turn off all the lights. We will see what we can get to project. I'm just going to take an SD card, maybe load up uh, the vlog from yesterday and see if we can get it to go. Stay tuned. Okay, let's get back into it. So I got yesterday's vlog, put on this SD card. We're going to plug it in here, see how it goes. Okay, take off the lens. Pop in the SD card. Ooh, I did not like how rough it was to get the SD card in there. And another thing I'm already finding out that I don't like is this cable, the power cord, that is too short. You are, this is what, like three or four feet? Who's got three or four feet? Like if you're if you're trying to set up a projector, I guess you are definitely gonna set it up next to the outlet. That's not what I planned on doing, especially in here. Like just trying to set it on this table so I can get to my wall is like five or six feet. So we're, we're trying to struggle a little bit with that. So I didn't like how hard it was to get the SD card in and I don't like the length of the cord. These could all be negated and this will be a total win if the image quality is good. Let's find out. See, this is what I'm talking about. The cable's just too darn short. All right, one second. Okay, back with an extension cord. It would probably help if I turned the extension cord on. Let's see what we got. Okay, so I cannibalized the batteries from the Hubsan drone from last week and trying to get it work, but this controller's not. Play, like, play the darn clip, man. Congratulations, projector. You got me to read the instructions, because apparently hitting play does not mean play. Yep, yep, I know what that is. Press the uh, signal source submenu. That was not helpful. You send me something to do a customer review card, but you won't send me anything that's, but you won't send me anything that says how to use your thing. It's just not working. Okay, it doesn't have a waterproof function. Fine. Am I, am I just dumb? I mean, that's a serious part of it. It could just be me being dumb, but I didn't think I was that dumb. Play. Okay. Hey, the off button works. Okay, so now I've cannibalized batteries from a drone and my HDMI cable from my PlayStation. Let's see if this works. This is the most irritated I've been on a reviewing the cheapest before. Generally, if you see my stuff, I try to keep an upbeat attitude, but I'm getting irritated now. Good morning. So I know I promised you a photography. Okay, HDMI cable from my MacBook to the thing works. Let's check out the video quality. For today is for us to go to a park that has a nice mountain that's supposedly very oh, some early morning. Me and the projector have different definitions of 1080p. So welcome back. We checked out the image quality. Not the best. 1080p I think is a stretch for them to call it it. I know it's not a totally fair test because there is light bleeding in and to make projectors work as good as possible you need no light because they, much like making a YouTube video, you want the only light source to be one you control and in the case of a projector it's that light source. That's what you're looking for. So it's not a totally fair test. The image quality is pretty poor. Something else I noticed for the controller, you can't use it in the front. You have to use it in the back. If you're going to use the controller to do anything on this thing, you have to use it from the back. I don't have a VGA cable, so I can't test that. I didn't like, I couldn't get a USB card or the micro SD card to work. Those are, it's like, that's the tiny little thing I'm going to pull for a movie. I'm going to, okay, here's something we're going to watch. We're just going to plug it in. I didn't like that that didn't work. I did get the HDMI cable to work. So I would assume if the HDMI cable worked, the VGA cable would work as well. It's not going to have audio though. The audio is not going to come out of this with just VGA. It's only going to be the video. So I like how compact it is. I like a lot of things about this projector, but I don't think they should be calling it 1080p. I think calling it 720p is probably a better comparison, like a high quality 720p. Not like the 720p we've seen in a lot of the other reviewing the cheapest episodes that are HD when they're like terrible, but they, they output in a 720 file, so they call it 720. This I would say actually looks like an HD 720 image. Probably would look better without any light. Should you buy it? If you already have a projector, no, you should not buy this, obviously. It's not, I mean, yeah, it's mini, it's compact. You gotta balance quality versus compactness. So like for my Spark, uh, I did a comparison between the Spark and the Mavic drone. These are two different kinds of drones. The Spark is minier 
it's compact, it's smaller than the Mavic, but it has the chops to make up for that. That's why I like it so much. This is smaller than a regular projector, but it's not it's not very good. Should you buy it? If you need a tiny projector and you have nothing else, sure, buy it. I mean, it was $39 at BH Photo, so it's not a big risk if it doesn't pay off. Will I keep it? No, I'm not gonna keep it. If it, the screen was really tiny, it didn't have a lot. If it had a bigger, wider, like, projection, I'd keep it. I think there would be a lot of value taking, taking it with us on our camping trips or anything fun like that, but the screen was too small, the definition was too small. This doesn't fit any niche of gear I need, so I'm definitely gonna be returning this, unfortunately, because I was very excited about it. I, I think I'm gonna continue looking for a projector, uh, one that has a bigger image. I'll just probably have to spend more than $39 on it, unfortunately. So hey, thanks for joining me today for Reviewing the Cheapest. I'm the Everyday Dad. If you like what you saw, if you like learning new things, if you like watching me go on adventures in my vlog, well, adventures in my vlog, click that subscribe button down below. Once you click that subscribe button, make sure to hit the bell notification icon right next to it, or you could miss out on some of the awesome updates we have on the channel. The channel is going through a bit of a transition right now. I'm trying to get more dynamic, less of me talking here at my table, uh, which we'll continue doing for reviewing the cheapest because it's easier to like be hands-on. It's air conditioned because the South is outrageously hot. Uh, so reviewing the cheapest will continue to be here. It'll continue to be on Mondays, but the channel itself is going through kind of a, I want to turn it into more of a dynamic, uh, going out there, getting at after things and excitement so I can share with you what I'm learning so that you can see that you can also learn it. So I'm the Everyday Dad. If I can figure out how to set this frustrating, frustrating mini compact, mini compact projector up, you can figure it out. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, really quick postscript. I know we just finished doing the live stream and I wanted to say a couple things about it. Thanks to everybody for showing up. It was a, I really had a good time. I hope you all enjoyed it too because I think we had 25 people on there at one point and it was, I had a whole lot of fun. We're definitely going to start doing that more. Uh, I think it'll probably be every other week we'll do a live stream. I think once a week is probably a little too much. Once a month is probably not enough. But yeah, congratulations to all the winners of the giveaway. If you can if you can see that. You guys are awesome. I'm so proud of you. Thanks for coming by and watching the videos. It really, it means a lot to me that you guys spend your time watching the videos. So I really appreciate everybody. Thanks to all thousand subscribers. You guys are wonderful. I mean, that's all that, that's all that I can really say. So we'll, we'll end the video here. I know we already ended the, the reviewing the cheapest part, but I wanted to say I really liked the live stream. We'll keep doing them. Thanks.